Uh, uh, Dr. Prachi is with me to uh, project my presentation. Thank you everyone for joining. If somebody is asking for attendance link in the chat, please share uh, the attendance link with them. Yeah. So in this session, we will be discussing a process of developing digital content and how to develop uh, instructional design for the same. Next slide, please. So for developing any digital um, content, especially the uh, uh, video content, audio video content, we have to take into consideration learning theories, learning objectives, and also individual differences. Okay, next slide. Yeah, so this is the development uh, process uh, for developing uh, any audio video program. So this uh, here it is shown what are the steps in script development and production, then devices of holding children's attention, elements of a good script. So these are some of the things that we need to take into consideration. So we uh, uh, first and foremost we need to know our audience who our audiences are uh, because uh, the the um, program production the digital content we are talking about is not just fictional content they are educational content and development of educational content especially audio video program is something which is very challenging because we cannot rely on our imaginations to write the script of an edu educational uh, video or audio program. So it is different than that. We cannot just um, compromise on conceptual errors on that. So it is uh, very challenging for that. We need to know our, our audience, who our audience are, at which level they are studying. We need to select the theme and topic which is appropriate for media production. Okay. Just hold for a moment. Let us project the presentation again. Am I audible now?
Yes, we need to know our audience, select the topic and theme. Then we need to develop program briefs. Then we need to research on the topic. We need all. Uh, we also need to sequence the content because appropriate sequencing should also be there. Then we also need to select the presentation format. By presentation format, we mean whether the uh, program will be a panel discussion, a video, an animation, or a documentary, or any other format, which is appropriate for the selected theme or topic. Then uh, we also need to know the device of holding children's attention. Like uh, if they are young children, uh, they are attracted by songs, riddles, music, sound effects, fun and humor. And also we need to have pauses and rest in between. It should not be, the content delivery should not be very dense. Then there should also be interactivity in, uh, in the way we are presenting the content. The discussion should not go one way. Then uh, children also need to be involved or engaged with the uh, content which is being uh, disseminated. Uh, so these are some of the elements of a good script. Uh, it should have an attractive start, clarity of concept. The uh, content should uh, be based on certain objectives. The known to unknown approach need to be adopted. Uh, the language we are using or the way of interaction we are using should be interactive, language should be simple, transition should be smooth, it should not be jerky from one concept to different concepts. For the, that we need to have a seamless uh, sequencing of content so that concept to concept transition is smooth. Then component of humor and fun should also be added to. Then re reinforcement with variety and linkages. We also need to reinforce the learning that is being derived. Like you might have seen in interactive content where in reinforcement was being given by saying very good, try again. So such reinforcement should also be uh, there. Then smooth close down. The close down should also be smooth. It should not be abrupt. Next slide. So for a good uh, media program, we also need to develop a storyboard where scene by scene description uh, of the uh, video that we have uh, visualized should be there. So it's a graphic representation of how your video will unfold shot by shot. So that is called a storyboard. So it's made up of a number of squares with illustrations or pictures uh, representing each slot. I will be showing you an actual storyboard so that you understand what is the storyboard. So uh, it, uh, we already, this is only the template of a storyboard. I will be showing you the actual storyboard. Next slide. Yes. So this is the format of an script. How do we write the script? So generally we uh, write um, a script in two columns. Uh, one column contains the, uh, if it is a video um, a script, one part contain all the uh, audio description, which is there along with uh, the script. And one part content the, uh, contains the relevant visual. If we also have some uh, sound or music effect, they also need to be placed there. I will be showing you an actual script so that you understand it better. If it is an audio script, then audio um, should be there because when uh, while writing an audio script, we are not writing for the eyes, but we are writing for the ears. So building proper ambience using suitable music makes it sure to um, develop a proper audio program. So we need to build ambience using music, sound effects, and other audio components. Next slide. Yeah. So what is the need of a storyboard? It is best way to share the vision of the script writer. It makes production easier because then producer um, is uh, not supposed to uh, research because script writer has already given 
his or her vision in the storyboard and it also saves time otherwise uh, the producer also need to research afresh to understand the script to understand the vision of the script writer then we can use the sketch it method or, or we can uh, make if we are good at graphics we can create graphics in storyboards then uh, we need to go with the rapid template template i have already shown you and we can also use collaboration tool if, uh, if we are uh, developing the storyboard in collaboration next slide so what do we need for that we need source of moving and still images means of importing them into a pc then software to optimize each clip and string the clips together this process uh, will be demonstrated too. We will be demonstrating a software called Open Shot Video Editor, in which you will be uh, having hands on experiences in audio video program production. Then, means of exporting the resulting masterpiece. We need to then export the resulting masterpiece onto our PC. So, these are the four important things that we need to have for any program production. Next. So here are different camera shots. Although the script writer is not uh, supposed to uh, uh, be a camera person, but if we know the camera angles, then we are able to tell the producer uh, how we want the visuals to be integrated into a particular uh, program. So here you can see different types of shots. So in a script, you also need to write what kind of shot you require, or if you are also developing in storyboard, you need to indicate what kind of shots you are uh, requiring for each visual. So wide shot, long shot, mid shot, or medium shot. So here you can see uh, the uh, example of uh, wide shot, long shot, and mid shot. So this is the um, wide shot, the wide shot here where the uh, playground is there. Then the long shot where two players are playing football and mid shot you can see where the girl is uh, has raised her hands. Next. So these are uh, some of the uh, some more camera shots where close ups are shown medium close up close up big close up and extreme uh, close up. So I think you will be able to identify by the name out of uh, these four picture which one is medium close up which one is close up which one is big close up and which one is extreme close up so the boy crying is extreme close up. Then big close up is the um, close up of these two boys and close up is this ball. And medium close up is where uh, this girl is uh, studying something on uh, 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 keeping her papers on a table. Next, please. Yeah, so these are some other camera angles top angle, over the shoulder, POV, Dutch angle, and bird's eye view. So uh, here, some of the angles are shown. This is over the uh, shoulder angle. Uh, top angle will come in the next slide. So this is POV, point of view angle, where uh, it appears as if the viewer is also moving along a shot. He or she is part of the uh, event or incident which is happening. Like uh, here we can see the uh, front part of a car which is uh, moving very fast. So when such instances come in a video, we also feel excited and we feel as if we are also part of the uh, scene. So this is Dutch angle where we need to show the uh, very extreme expression on the face of a character. This uh, particular angle is used. So let us now see the top angle and bird's eye view. Next slide, please. So where are those visuals? Top angle and bird's eye view, back jump. Top angle wala nahi. 
इस पीपीटी में सो वी विल शेयर दो टू विजुअल आल्सो विद यू नेक्स्ट प्लीज सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द डूज एंड डोंट्स ऑफ फिल्मिंग so we need to start recording before the action takes place you can always trim any access later then stop recording after the action takes place also take still shots of useful information so that later on we can also add the still shots access zooming should be avoided because uh, sometimes it uh, uh, hampers the actual flow of the video program uh if we are zooming we should avoid jerkiness then avoid fast panning of static views if is views are static fast panning should be avoided from one angle to another angle camera should move slowly next last year so let us now watch a video and a script and storyboard aligned to it so that you get to understand how these three things are aligned uh, a, um, a script a storyboard and a video so can we watch uh, pahiya let us watch an animation uh, video to understand it better just wait for a moment we are projecting an animation video काम में 
मेरा हो जाए पल में काम मेरा हो जाए मेहनत भी मेरी बच जाए हाँ गोल 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 धुरी से दो को बांधा एक धुरी से दो को बांधा धीरे धीरे किया सुधा हाँ यू हो गया पहिया तैया यू हो गया पहिया तैया यू हो गया पहिया तैया गोल 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 so uh, yeah we have hindi version so uh, we will share the english version in the whatsapp group uh, dr prachi please uh, obtain the english version so that it can be shared mm -hmm. so here you can see there are two columns in one column audio or music is shown and in another column visuals are shown so what is written in column one is uh, Yeah, the uh, muse, uh, the uh, uh, music symbolic to speed is playing in the background. So, uh, and you might have witnessed in the video also that there was a mu music uh, music playing in the background, which is symbolic to speed. Then the visuals along with that music were. Uh, the uh, notes of music were floating out of a flute, and then the uh, the title of the programs comes "Paye Ka Vishkar" or "Invention of Wheel." Then there was a close up of the wheel of aeroplane. There was a close up, mid close up of uh, an aeroplane, uh, uh, yeah, taking off. Then close up of a uh, car's wheel was there. the car running on the road was there uh, skates a uh, child running on skates uh, skates were was there then a uh, uh, passenger on bike was going bike rider was going uh, the person riding on bike was uh, seen in the scene then a uh, sun uh, round sun is um, there in the sky then earth rotating then uh, the words 
uh, which uh, were written in Hindi, Gol Gol, they were um, rotating uh, in a round. So all these visuals were there. Then uh, the uh, uh, songs uh, get started. Ek din manam nidhalan par dekha ek lodakta lagi tha. Once a human uh, saw a rolling log, so that was the um, title and the visuals which were coming along with uh, this um, uh, uh, lyrics were uh, prehistoric, uh, the, the, the depiction of prehistoric period and there was a log rolling um, from the uh, hill. And uh, early human was watching that uh, log rolling from the hill. So like that, all visuals and the song, uh, uh, along with song, were arranged in the animation that you have just watched. So let us now watch the storyboard so that we get to understand the uh, it in a proper way. If your script is very clear and you have also indicated the storyboard, so producer will find it easier to uh, develop the video program because we cannot expect the producer to be the subject expert of everything, history, civics, geography, biology, and the subjects like that. If we write the script appropriately and design the storyboard properly, then producer can understand the vision and uh, he or she can develop the program accordingly. So uh, in the video, it was the first visual that notes of music were floating out of a flute. And uh, the uh, title of the program then comes in. So this is the um, uh, zoomed version of the wheel of an expo uh, aeroplane. Uh, this is mid shot of an aeroplane, then mid shot of car's wheel, then POV angle here you can see where a fast car is moving, but you uh, can only see the steering wheel and uh, the hands of the driver, then uh, the bike rider, this is a spinning wheel and the rolling log, then a uh, Close short up, uh, close uh, close up is shown here with eye movement. Like that, the visuals are arranged in the storyboard so that producer get to know what kind of visual script writer wants and arrange the visuals in a video accordingly, added with appropriate music. So indication of musics were already given in the uh, script and the camera angles are shown in the storyboard. So like that, we can uh, prepare a proper package for an appropriate educational audio or video program. Mm, yeah, we can also see because PME Vidya channels are there and a lot of channels have been given to uh, different states and UTs as well. So let us watch an a script of a video lecture because video lecture are some, lectures are something with which we can feed the uh, uh, TV channels. Uh, yes, having the appropriate uh, videos and they are uh, very easier and quick to uh, produce. But we also need to take care that uh, when we are creating a, a video program of uh, uh, in uh, the video lecture format, all the time presenter should not be on the screen. The uh, content of video script should always be um, be uh, supported by appropriate visuals only. 15 to 20 percent time should be given uh, for the presenter to appear on the screen. Rest of the times uh, there uh, should be um, bullet points to reiterate the points that we are dealing with and also the appropriate relevant visuals which we want uh, the program to be in uh, supported with. So here you can see 
स्क्रिप्ट ऑफ अ वीडियो लेक्चर so uh, the script here is also in two columns in one column whatever uh, the audience will listen will be there and in another column whatever they will see has been depicted so the first paragraph uh, along with first paragraph where the presenter is greeting the audience presenter will come on screen and later on Uh, in uh, the, uh, any which manner you design this video lecture, the visuals should appear accordingly. So you can see here the uh, on-screen caption should come. Please scroll down. And other visuals uh, with which we need to support a video lecture. so what need to be taken into consideration is that presenter should appear on the screen only 15 to 20% rest of the times the video should be supported by appropriate visuals let us now see the content briefs program so here you can see a sample program brief uh, this program brief is of a uh, audio program uh, nakshe me sansar and there is no subtitle of the video program so it is not a series so these are some of the he headings that we need to fill title of the program subtitle if it is a series series title theme sub theme if any subject language duration class age group target audience if they are other than students presentation format then discussion demonstration interview drama so these are some of the presentation format role play documentary docu drama feature lecture vox populi means voices of people then storytelling cultural activities like dancing singing recitation model reading new media multimedia or interactive content so these are some of the presentation formats we need to decide the presentation format as well then objectives of the program need to be written what content coverage is being done also need to be uh, written because one concept uh, when we are dealing with educational media program one concept runs across classes so by writing content coverage we also control the difficulty level of a program so that the uh, it can be control what content we will be covering for the same concept in class 6 and for the same concept which uh, if it appears in class 8th uh, and 9th as well so um, uh, content coverage writing content coverage help in uh, pegging our uh, content according to the a uh, class and age of the children then we also need to write production tips or treatment so that producers get to know the um, tips for uh, production also then uh, references if we have taken any image any photograph any animation from anywhere so it should be copyright free and we should write the appropriate references for the particular program so this is the program brief which help us writing the script in a, a proper way yes can we go back so let us now also watch a sample script of uh, the gamified content or interactive content i had already shown you some of the interactive content in 
my previous presentation. So let us watch the uh, interactive content first, then we will go to the script. Can we uh, play the interactive content first? Yeah. So here you can see the concept is classification and drag and drop activity is used to uh, for this particular for this particular concept. Can we put them in four baskets on the basis uh, of their color. Let us try and put them in. Can we go back groups. and play it again? Observe the fruits. Can we put them in four baskets on the basis of their color? Let us try and put them into four groups. Drag fruits to the basket to form the four groups. Yes, so now you can uh, see the script of this particular drag, drag and drop uh, uh, interactive content. So the topic was classification and the description of this particular um, interactive content. Fruits of different colors are displayed on the screen. Child has to classify the fruits on the basis of color or shape. We can also keep shape but we need to develop the storyboard accordingly if we need to um, have uh, the, uh, the, uh, the classification based on the shape. Then medium, it can be made in English and Hindi, subject maths, label class one. Audience, different stakeholders of education because teacher can also use it as a pedagogical resource. Students also can directly play this particular gamified content. Then educational use to develop the understanding of classification on the basis of color. Interactivity uh, type, uh, this is an interactive content. So we have to read, uh, there are two types of interactivity. Uh, so which we need to integrate then source self-generated. So this is the storyboard. So here you can see four baskets, but the content which are shown because it was decided at a later stage that um, basket should also be in the four colors so that child matches the color of a fruit basket. So you uh, had already seen that if we mm, do it wrongly, this fruit will bounce back. But we can do it in two ways. Fruit can also stay. But at a later stage, at the feedback stage, children can know how many right and wrong they have done. But then we need to indicate it in our storyboard and script because the software person is not a subject expert and he doesn't know what is there in your mind. So you have to write very clearly in what way you want this content to appear on screen. So here you can see uh, instructions for the users which were in audio and also in text because it's, it was for class one. So we don't expect a class one child to read uh, large uh, content, large uh, sentences or instructions. So that is why instructions were all, also given in audio. Then we also need to write instruction for the developer so that developer can understand your vision and develop the content using the appropriate software as you visualized it. So here instruction is written if the user drags fruit of one color in one basket, then fruit of another color cannot be 
placed on the same basket they bounce back but we can do uh, other way also the fruit can stay but the the software person will do the coding in a manner only if you indicate and later on when we get the feedback uh, how many rights and wrongs we have done can be indicated so give positive reinforcement good with the clapping for proper grouping and encouragement for improper placement so that uh, can also be mm, done next <laughs> Can we see one more if there are any other interactive content? Toy Fair Valley site. Can we project that? Just wait, I'll show you a few more examples. In the meantime, if you have any questions, you can ask questions. So uh, this is a website which we developed to curate the educational games for India Toy Fair, digital educational games. I will be showing you some more examples of uh, interactive digital games. One you have already seen. So this one you have already seen classification. Can we scroll down? This they have already watched in the video that was shown to them. We can still scroll down. Just wait for a moment, the games are loading. Yeah, somebody has written, if software developer is not available, are there any apps with which we can create our own interactive activities? Yes, these activities have been created by a software called H5P, which is very easy to um, understand and uh, yeah, deal with. So we, will, uh, we have kept a session on H5P um, a software so you will be given a demo and also uh, an opportunity to do hands-on so we will uh, be um, have taken it into consideration so you will be exposed to the software which you can easily handle and create such contents So I think internet is a little slow. That is why it is taking time for the interactive content to load. Any more question if you have in between? Yeah.
slow and okay maybe we can have a demo of this uh, some more games later uh, i believe that you um, people have already understood the way script storyboard um, is aligned to a particular uh, piece which is already produced and uh, also for interactive content and video lecture if there are any questions please uh, feel free to ask So the session is now handed over to Ms. Nidhi Adlaka because I have already done my presentation. If there are any questions, please uh, uh, 